What's up, guys? So, uh, remember those two Femcom, uh, I mean, uh, FM Towns, Marty's, that I got? Well, turns out, one of them is actually working, and the other one just uh, didn't read CDs at all. Like, I put it in there, and it didn't even spin. Nothing at all. Uh, so I was kind of bummed about that. Then I started reading online about like la laser replacements and all that stuff. And I did some rudimentary uh, testing I, uh, where you just like uh, hold down the, uh, the lit uh, button and, and just try and see whether the laser is actually producing a light at all or not or, or whether the laser diode is completely dead. So I could see there was some light uh, coming from it so it wasn't completely dead. So I thought, uh, why not just crack it open? And then I swapped the laser uh, for the good machine, just to see whether it's the laser unit itself that, that the problem was with. And sure enough, then the problem moved to the other machine. So uh, I knew it was the laser unit. And then I thought, uh, well, sometimes if you just uh, like mess around with the parts, uh, you can fix it. And wouldn't you know it, it's always a fucking nightmare working with lasers. It's like the worst thing I've ever experienced repairing anything is always something to do with the lasers. It's always a goddamn nightmare and I always regret buying a machine, uh, a junk machine uh, that has a CD mechanism. Uh, anyway, look at this freaking nightmare I had to go through. So first of all, this thing here is actually soldered on to this. So you can't get to any of the pots. They're all be underneath this thing here. So there are two pots. You can see this yellow one here, which is under this. And that one is not so tough. But then there is another one on the actual laser itself. And in order to get to that, and that's the one you usually need to uh, like mess around with. Like that's the, I think that's the, uh, Either the laser strength or focus, I don't remember. Uh, these CD mechanisms, they're, they're all different. Like some of them have a million parts, some of them have only one. This one ha has two parts, which is not that bad. I've worked on like uh, CD mechanisms that, that had several parts. It's like you change one and everything else needs to be adjusted. It's a freaking nightmare. Anyway. So I was trying to like uh, mess around with the uh, with the part on the laser th thing module itself, and of course uh, because it's so bad, it's so inaccessible. Combined with the fact that the the, the little ridge that is on the part itself is is not really that good, I ended up actually breaking off. The freaking laser thing. <sighs> and so first, before I even did that, I had to solder this thing off and like uh, solder wires from it going to the to the board just so I have access to the thing. Because adjusting something and then soldering it back in, forget about that. I would take like a, forever. So I did that. Then this thing fell off. I soldered it back into place and I continued like adjusting and then it fell off again and that, and at that point it actually lifted some pads. So I couldn't even put it back anymore. So I just like soldered two uh, pieces of wire onto it, if you can see. And then uh, I traced where those like pads were on the laser unit itself. And I found out, okay, one of them actually goes to this board here and the other one is to a component, to a resistor on, on, on the laser module itself. So I soldered that to that and I just continued uh, adjusting. And at this point right now, I've reached Well, first of all, I mean, the CD is spinning. It didn't do that before, so that's that's something, right? But right now, way presto, uh, it actually recognizes what is in the CD uh, 
and you know we can play a CD. So that's a great success. So let's stop this. Yeah, it plays the CD, it plays every single track and there is no like skipping or any errors or anything like that. So uh, everything's fine. It seems like the CD mechanism is actually fine now. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to sell this off as soon as possible because these old machines, they, they just, they, they have a funny way of just failing, especially anything with a laser mechanism. So as soon as I've got it working, I'm going to get rid of it and it's going to be someone else's uh, future headache because that laser is going to fail. The one on mine, the good one, that's going to fail too, probably soon. Uh, I mean, these machines are, what, 25 years old at this point, and these laser mechanism, I've read about them, uh, they're garbage. Like, uh, Fujitsu, apparently they were like bragging about how cheaply uh, made this uh, laser mechanism is and it's like super custom so that there is really no replacement to be found once this laser goes uh, or the laser goes in any of my x uh, i mean um, fm towns computers this one this one uh, that one over there any of those once the laser goes it's just kiss it goodbye it, it, it's 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 done uh, so hopefully in the future someone's going to like create some sort of a CD mechanism emulator for this. Just like the those are available for certain machines like the like the PlayStation has one. Um, I think the 3DO for whatever reason, God knows why, but the 3DO has one, uh, or maybe it's the Jaguar. I don't know. It's one of those like uh, CD systems that nobody bought because it was a complete flop. Uh, but this machine, if anything, deserves it. Uh, I mean, for one thing, the Marty's cost a fortune and the lasers are prone to just failing, uh, partly probably because they're so old and they're not so good and not so well built. And uh, let me turn this thing off. And also, I imagine, because the games for these machines are so insanely expensive that people just are forced to play burnt games. And playing burnt games will wear out your laser faster. At least that's what I heard. So, you know, that's just the way it is. <sighs> so hopefully... I will not buy any more FM Towns Harbor in the future and have to put up with this headache. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna sell this thing off as with absolutely no guarantee at all because I've learned my lesson. I have previously sold a machine where I like uh, wrote, oh, this works and it's fine and everything. And I ship it off to the seller and of course it arrives not working and then whose fault is it is it father time is it the postal service uh, no it's always me the seller because i sold a working unit this time i'm gonna say okay i've tested the cd i can play a cd but i will sell this as is for parts like if it arrives your door where you can't play any games on it uh basically fuck you you know because that's the way i bought this <sighs> and i think that's at the end of the day that's just what you have to do uh, as like uh, a private seller of these things uh, i mean I'm, I'm not in the business of, of importing and selling these things this one just happened to be at the available at a reasonable price with the other one and I thought okay these tend to not work so I'll buy two that will double my chances of having a working unit as well it did because 
if one of them was broken. Uh, but I've managed to get just a little bit of life back into this one. So off you go. Be someone else's headache. Anyway, guys, uh, maybe this will help someone in the future. But uh, you know what uh, my advice is? Don't buy FM Towns computers. Buy all the other ones, the cool ones with the floppy drives. Uh, CD drives, no good. Bye.